All right, guys, today we're doing John Lennon's Jealous Guy. All right, uh, hello, everyone. I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I finally have finished this one. I did it the part one a while ago and never finished it and now it is finished. Uh, all four parts are on webpianoteacher.com uh, along with over a thousand videos of uh, my lessons if you want to check it out. But look me up on Facebook as well. Just do a Facebook search for uh, Web Piano Teacher and you can find me. Anyway, let's do this free part one here. We're going to start with the right hand on an A and a D, and then we're going to flip that A to B, and then, and then a G on the thumb, so we have bum, bum, bum. and then we're going to do that again, bum, bum, bum. you want to use 2 and 5 on the A and the D, and then keep that pinky down, and then, but that second time you're going to continue and play an A after that, so Now we're going to have G and E on the top, and bum, bum, bum. So you have G and E together, and then B, and then G, and it's bum, bum, bum. And then we're going to have da, 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 with a sixth, with three sixths. So we're going to have G and E together, and then A and F sharp, and then B and G together. Now the finger that you want to use one and three, and then one and four, and then one and five. So thumb, 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 but the, the top part of the sixth is three, four, five. So here at the beginning we have All right, let's look at the left hand. We're going to have a G fifth. G on the bottom, right below middle C, with a D above that. And there's just a single F sharp. It's not really a chord change, it's just getting us to this E minor chord here. Bum, bum, bum. B right here on the left hand. I hear that in the recording, so I'll put that in there for you. Uh, I try to make these boards as simple as possible, but also follow closely to what's uh, what's actually played. But you can get too, you can go overboard and trying to put every single note and it ends up being more confusing, I think. So I try to find a happy medium there. So let's play uh, hands together now. So we're going to play this together. You can actually play that fifth again right here. I didn't write it again, but you can play it again. And then you want an F sharp here with the G. Now it bites, you know, when you play it slow, you hear that go, ah, that seventh there, that major seventh really uh, fights each other, those, that G and F sharp, but it's correct. When you play it faster, it will sound okay. Also, if you don't play the F sharp so loud, play the, the right hand louder and the left hand a little bit softer there, it'll sound good. And then the A, together here, right, right, and then together, right, right, and then just the left hand there, okay? So, let's do a slow tempo here for this first box. We have okay, and I want to encourage you to improvise a little bit in the left hand on the chord or fifth that you're already on you can kind of put those notes in there here and there as you feel like it. I really encourage you to do that. That's part of improvising is uh, letting that left hand kind of fill in when the right hand has a gap. Okay, let's go to the next box here. A, D, F sharp together. It's a D major chord. And then just the A on the thumb. And then together with that chord again. And the A on the thumb. So one and two and then we're gonna have this figure. Okay, so we're gonna have a groups of three. These notes here, groups of three. E F sharp D, finger at one, two, five. And here's the next group. This one you're gonna finger two, one, five, because you have a black key. So you want to do that with your pointer and then the thumb on the white note. F sharp G E on that second group. And then the third group's right here. Actually should have uh, put a curve line there as well to make it all the same. 
and then uh, so G A F sharp, and then D A right there. Uh, let's look at the left hand right now. We have D and A, so it's a D fifth, a D chord. You don't always want to play three notes in the left hand. Sometimes it's just a fifth or just an octave sounds okay. In fact, most of the time that's what the left hand will be doing when you play these kinds of things. So D and A, D and A there, and of course you can play the D and A improvised in there, uh, here and there. Uh, I encourage you to do that. D and A again, there. All right, let's go that far. Let's just take that little chunk. Ready, go. Okay, so I'm playing the left hand uh, more than just what I wrote it. All right, now we're going to ba, ba, ba. So that's going to be A and F sharp up to B and G up to C and A. Again, we want to finger that thumb, thumb, thumb and three, four, five. And then the A all by itself there. And then we have, okay, see the pattern. The B and D is a sixth and it's broken. And then the A, C. You can finger that pinky and then the, the fourth finger using your thumb on both on the, on the bottom notes. Okay? Um, <clears throat> so just the right hand here we have. And we have the D fifth we already talked about. But right here we hear this. Okay, we have two auxiliary notes and then the principal note there, the D. Uh, the D is the note we're going to, so not too heavy on the C and C sharp. And don't try to go ba ba ba, just 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 roll it up like you're rolling your fingers on a desk. The only thing is, uh, you don't want to be too heavy on the C and C sharp. We're going for the D. And we want to line that D up with the right hand right here. Brum. So line it up with that C and A on the right hand. And of course you can, can keep playing that D through there um, if you want. And you don't have to do that, of course. It'll sound just fine. Um, let's do this. Let's uh, These two boxes kind of go together. So let's start here, and then we'll do both of these boxes. Okay? Ready? Go. Alright, we have one box to go, and we're going to be on an E minor chord. Whenever you hear the word chord, you should think three notes at least. Uh, <clears throat> you can have even more, of course. Um, but the three notes in an E minor chord are E, G, B, and that will help you as you're going through the, the uh, measure there to know what notes to expect. Lots of EBGs. Some other notes too, but the, the measure will be built around EGB. So E and B on the left hand. Now on the right hand we have... So that's going to be B and G together, and then an E, and then a G on the thumb, and then B, G fast, bop, bop, and then da, 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 which is going to be E and A together. Last four, ba, 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 F sharp, E, B, G. So, ba, 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 ba. all right, and we put hands together, we have together, right, together. Now, let me do that improvising a little bit on the left hand, E, B. Ready, go. hand things in there, it would get confusing and it just gets to be uh, monotonous, I think. What we're going for, you guys who are playing these things uh, are kind of, you know, by ear players and you need, that's a skill you need, so go for that. Try to, to, to improvise that left hand when you have a chord. Alright, so there is part one. Uh, check out my website, webpianoteacher.com. Hope you guys enjoy. Check you later.